Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a LEGO Minecraft 2022 set review. Today we are looking at set number 21179. This is the Mushroom House, it has 272 pieces, is retailing for $19.99 USD or $24.99 Canadian. And I guarantee you, I'm going to shock you right now. Hope you're sitting down. You're getting two mobs here that are quite rare. And I I'm not kidding when I say this. So, first of all, the more common one is the mushroom there on the right that is actually appearing in the first time from a set since 2017 five years that's pretty old but a spider as well as a skeleton have not appeared in a set since wait for it 2014 the very first wave of minecraft that was the first time that you could make the spider jockey, which is specifically what you're doing here in this set. So that is insane to me. This is technically the first ever official version of the spider jockey. All the other ones had a spot for you to like have the skeleton just sit in, but we're going to go through all that. Also, I believe this is the first set as well set in the dark oak forest. So there's a lot of firsts in this set. There's something else. I'm shocked. I didn't expect to enjoy the set as much as I did anyway, so we're going to go all through, through that, so let's go ahead and let's get started. To be completely honest with you, this was the set that I was least looking forward to. As I built it, I was surprised by how large this set actually was. It, I really just, I don't know, the pictures I don't think does justice to just the size of this set. I think it's really great. Honestly, it is one of my favorites of the wave now. It, it could be better than at least two others, I would say. We reviewed all the rest. This is the final one because I was looking forward to reviewing this the least. So, I'm believe me, wasn't expecting to like this one. So over here, we have a tree that has grown in the forest as well as it's interesting. We've got the two by four jumpers there that like attach plates and stuff, but they're in dark green. So I think that's really interesting. Um, I don't think, I think that's new for this piece, but also just for like Minecraft, like just having that in the forest. Again, new location. So of course that makes sense. Inside the chest, there isn't actually anything included. Now, I'm not sure you could put a couple of different things. I Like the bucket won't fit inside there it would have to be open uh, would it fit oh it does fit it's just not with the stud with the milk um, but you could also take some of the wheat here from this little farm and put that in there as well as a torch if you want um, as well as you've got one of the new plate pieces there in trans blue for like a water effect over here there's nothing else really going on I just want to mention before we go inside of the little mushroom house I think this is meant to be one of the mushrooms you would find in the forest that they've hollowed out to make into a house and they've like broken some of the blocks there to actually have little windows there so I think that's really cute as well as you could see it's on like the f fence post pieces here which is so cool because it's actually using the new piece that they've been using for candles and stuff like that so I really love that that's being used there it also just gives it the actual like look and effect that it is actually like the fence post so I think that's really cool but let me show you how to remove this. So what you do is you just lift this part up here and then you get access to the inside of the house. Now, all the rest of the side walls actually are completely removable. So, yeah, not sure particularly why you would want to do that, but you can do that. So good on the set, I guess. <laughs> um, but inside... You've got a crafting table as well as a little bed. Now, I don't think, however, if I were to take Alex and actually lie her down inside, I do not believe... Oh, it does actually. They accounted for that. Look at that. If you notice, I didn't notice this while building. You've actually got a little hollowed out spot there using a window frame piece so that you could actually have Alex lie down in bed. So you take that back there, put all the pieces all together, and then you put it back just like that. So I think that's really cool. Something else I just wanted to mention is we've got the little ladder there on like the stem of the mushroom. So yeah, this is really cool. It's a cute little set. Honestly, I, I love this thing. I want to go get more so I can have little houses around my dark oak forest. One final thing I want to mention is the use of these plates here and why the stud is showing. If you can't tell, it's so that it won't cave in because if those studs were not there, what would happen 
is you actually would maybe have it be able to fold in more and when it break off a lot easily if you're like pushing down on certain things. But with the plates there, it would prevent that from happening. So I think that's a real cool thing to add. Here is Alex. Unfortunately, no new skin is included. But you know what? It's fine. Alex and Steve should be appearing in every wave. And I don't have a problem with that. I think the rest of the set makes up for that. So included as her accessories here is an iron axe as well as a little stamp piece upside down. Now that is meant to represent the bull. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to hope that this is actually a bull in her inventory. The reason I say that is we've gotten some objects like the cake in the past, which is objects in their inventory, not objects that they're actually holding on to, such as an actual bowl piece. I would love to get the real bowl here recolored. Please, Lego, make it happen. I'd love for it to be accurate. But again, if you've never seen Alex, the printing and everything's fine. I think after all this time, we need dual molded arms. It is the 10 year anniversary. Make it happen. And her other accessory that's included in the set is actually a bucket with a stud to represent milk. And if you don't know why that is, it's because mushrooms actually can give you mushroom stew as well as milk if you use the bucket or a bowl. And here is the mushroom. And again, haven't gotten this from 2017, so it's been a long time. Great to see back there. I think the build of it has always been perfect. I really wouldn't change much about this. I'm glad to have another one back here to add to my collection. And uh, again, the printing here, it's just such an iconic mob from the game. So cool. So here is the spider jockey, and he's a little bit on an angle there. Let me let me fix that. But yeah, it is really cool to get a first official build for this here. I could have sworn it's been in the set, but I went back, double checked, triple checked. Really cool. The spider as well returning. It's been so long. I, I love the arms and everything. The spider on its own, I think, is a really cool build. Again, they've always known how to make it. I think it looks so cool, all the pieces being used here. The difference is with this one here making specifically it a spider jockey is having those jumpers for you to be able to attach a skeleton there and actually have it riding the spider. And the spider jockey here has a regular bow as well as an enchanted helmet there. And if for some reason this is your first time seeing the Lego Minecraft skeleton there, that's what it looks like without uh, the helmet on. There I have it, everyone. That is my review of the Mushroom House. I think it's a fun set. A lot of firsts inside here. I didn't expect to like it. I really didn't. I, I think if you go back and listen, I'm like, eh, it's fine. It's just generic. It's not. It actually is a lot more. It's really smart. It's fun. It's It's got a few things that we haven't gotten in a while, which I didn't realize, but where'd the 10 years go? That's my question, man. Anyways, everyone, what do you think of this? This is the final Minecraft 2022 review that we've looked at from January. We are going to be getting the poly bag very soon, so we'll review that as well. But if you want to check out all the other ones, they're linked to the playlist, and I might, might do a video combining them all to show, like, the Minecraft 2022 world so far. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.